My name is Dr. Tim Faller and I am the VP of Research and Development at Rodan and Fields. We all know the incredible results that the AMP-MD roller can produce. But how does it do it? How does it work? Well, we decided to find out. We took tissue from a plastic surgery procedure and on half of that tissue we used the AMP-MD roller and on the other half we left it untreated. We took a biopsy from either side incubated it to keep the tissue alive and then we did a genetic analysis on that tissue. This would tell us what the AMP-MD roller was doing to the tissue, what happened to the DNA, what genes were upregulated and what genes were downregulated. What we found was that the AMP-MD roller upregulated those genes associated with useful and healthy skin, collagen, integrins, laminin. Equally as interesting was that it downregulated genes associated with aging skin and skin that had been subjected to UV radiation. And these are called MMPs, and you can see them here as the red bars. So what does this mean for our skin? Well, here is the diagram of what our skin looks like and the, with the different layers, the quantified layer, the epidermis, and the dermis. And if we overlay that with what we saw from the molecular analysis, what we see is that junctions are strengthened, extracellular matrix is upregulated, collagen is boosted, and cells are mobilized, those cells that produce collagen. But that isn't all of the story, because we also use retinol. Here is a study that was done at the same time as we were doing our study, and this concentrated on what happens to gene expression when you use 0.04% retinol. Now, in our capsules, we are using 0.075% retinol, almost twice as much. But what this study did show was that elastin and fibrillin, as well as collagen, are all upregulated. So if we combine these results with the results that we saw with the AMP-MD roller, what we see is the junctions are strengthened, cells mobilized, extracellular matrix and collagen upregulated and boosted, but also elastin and fibrillin are increased. Now, stimulating all of these different aspects of skin will produce the kind of results that we see with the AMP-MD roller. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here we see histology slides actually demonstrating what we see at the molecular level and what we have seen in befores and afters at the histological level. So here we have non-treated skin on the left, and the same skin treated with the AMP-MD roller. Two very important things that you can see straight away. Firstly, look at the surface of the skin. It's much tighter on the right. You don't have all of that sloughing off. You don't have blurred definition between the epidermis, which is the dark layer, and the dermis, which is the light layer. Everything is tighter, much better defined on the right-hand side. Very characteristic of young skin. Now remember, these are from the same person. On the right-hand side, you can also see these fingers of dermis that are going up into the epidermis. These are called dermal papillae. If you look at the left-hand side, there are none there. Dermal papillae are very characteristic, in fact, of baby's skin, because what it does is it increases the surface area of the dermis and the epidermis. This is very important because these dermal papillae are the way that the dermis feeds the epidermis. It delivers nutrients and oxygen, both extremely important to young, healthy skin. So basically, we have turned old skin on the left into young skin on the right by using the AMP-MD roller. So what you have seen here is, with the befores and afters, you can see the end result. We know now how that happens from a molecular point of view. And here, you can actually see it happening real time with real skin. So how does this play out when we look at a timeline? Well, what we discovered was on day one of using the roller, gene regulation has already started to happen. Good genes are slightly increasing. Bad genes are decreasing. So on day one of using the roller, this actually starts to happen. I'm not suggesting that we will see the results on day one, but you can certainly see the process has been initiated. 
by day five, it has really taken hold. All of those good genes going up, those bad genes going down. The skin is truly being taught to be healthier and act younger. And this is really the basis of why we see what we see in the histology slides and what we see in our before and after pictures. Now, the doctors have said for over a year now, we should use our rollers for about a year. Well, we have been looking at the rollers throughout that year to see the data points of how long we should use our first roller for. And what we found was when we did this study, we looked at a new roller and we compared it to a roller that was a year old that had been used about four to five times a week. And we looked at each of the needles with an inverted tissue culture microscope. And what we found was that on the new roller, 192 needles out of 192 were absolutely perfect, perfectly formed in very good shape. But when we looked at the roller that was one year old and had been used on a regular basis, what we found was there was a significant number of needles that were now blunted. What this means is that very occasionally needles do become blunt. Now, throughout your first year, this makes very little difference because we have 192 needles and an occasional needle that is blunted will make no difference to either sensation or efficacy. However, after a year, the numbers of these blunted needles begin to accumulate and after that year, we may see a decrease in efficacy and sensation. So a year is the time when we need to replace that roller with the one that has the 192 needles in perfect shape. Think of this like getting a cold. You begin to get a cold, you can feel it in your nose and in your throat, but you don't have a cold yet. Having a roller for a year is exactly like that. It's beginning to get to the point where efficacy and sensation will start to decrease. So, stay sharp every 12 months, every 12 months, replace that roller. It's the only way to keep maintaining that activity that you have seen today on that molecular basis, histology basis, and of course with those fantastic befores and afters.